Hello everybody, this is Cody with Halo and today we're gonna upload a file to Amazon S3 using their own library, their own SDK uh, called Amazon SDK version 3 uh, So, I know that most of you are not gonna do a raw fetch uh, into Amazon even though you could using crypto and signing the transactions and everything we're gonna use for today these libraries and also we're, it's gonna be the start of another series of Amazon tools which we will see how to do Amazon SQS, Amazon SNS and connect to other instances from Amazon okay so let's get started so let's first create our package let's create and let's install for them Let's install uh, the AWS SDK and the client industry. Okay. I think it's dash, yeah. So this is the version 3, then with the add AWS SDK is the new version of the Amazon AWS. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna create our .n file and our in our .NET file, we'll need the client key. We're gonna need the client secret. We're gonna need the bucket name. You can do this in a variable if you want in the code, but for me, it's gonna be in the .NET and the region. Okay, so we have all of that from. Let's require let's require everything. So let's const dot then equals to require dot then dot config. I think that we don't need to do that. I think we will do this. Okay. Let's do require and um, const do we need oh the S3. So S3 I think it's easier. S3 client from AWS. Sorry, not from from S from there. Require AWS okay, S3. Okay, cool, perfect. Okay. Um, we only we also need as we're gonna use the put. So there's a put function, put oh shit command. Yeah, cool. Perfect. And one more thing we're gonna need here is we're gonna need the FS. So cont cont FS equals to require FS. Because we're gonna do a file stream into the put object command. And in order to do the file stream, we need to get the file and everything, so we're gonna do all that, okay? So, okay, so uh, we're gonna, now that we have all these three requires, first thing we are gonna create our client. So, both S3 is gonna be our new S3 client. Next thing is we are gonna create our function, okay? Let's call it upload file, okay? And we're gonna send the file path, the back name, and the, the new name, okay? Name key, the new file name key. So basically the idea is to say like, this is the file path, so in 
here you find the file this is the bucket where we want to we want it to save and this is the new name inside the bucket okay if we want to do some file renaming you know we send it in here okay so let's create our sync function here that will call that function and we're gonna do const upload equals to an await of upload file okay we're gonna send the file path the back name the back name we actually have it so it's process dot bucket name and the new file name key it's bucket underscore name and then underscore name perfect okay uh, the file path is gonna be we are, let's actually create a file here let's do test.txt gonna be let's say for example a new date the get milliseconds okay dot okay so every single time that we execute this it will have like a new uh, information itself so milliseconds we could have like UTC date if you want. Let's do yeah, let's do get UTC date. Okay. Because the day of the month is in universal data coding. Yeah, okay, whatever. You could use whatever we want here. But the is to show you how to rename your files. Okay? Okay. So oh and one more thing. And after the await, let's do a console log to see what Apple actually has to, to offer us. Okay. So the first thing is we're gonna stream the file. We're gonna create a file stream using FS. So we're gonna do the const file stream. It's gonna be an fs.create read stream of the file path. Okay. We have a file stream. Let's do file stream. If there is an error or something, an error, let's display that. Console.error. Okay. So if there is any error in the file, like if you know uh, you can access, you can't access that or whatever, it's gonna blow your program here. Now let's create our params. It's the params that we're gonna send is gonna be the put object command with these parameters. We're gonna send the bucket, which is gonna be the bucket name. We're gonna send the key, which is gonna be the new file name key. So this is the new file. And the body is gonna be the file string. That we do the call response equals to the weight of the client, which is oh sorry, sometimes it's S3, which is this S3 client dot send okay, and the prompts and the S3 response. Okay. So basically it's gonna create a put object command and then send that put object command to a client. That process is the will be sending a line string. Okay, so let's get all the our information here. Okay, so crash course on Amazon. Okay, first thing, line key, line zero. Let's go to IAM.
user go to the bucket allow the public access so we can share that information that file with you know the public we can show the users like everyone the internet these files that I'm using for example if you are uploading your static files from the website okay uh, ideally at the backup versioning it's way helpful if you are like gonna upload a file with the same name the same key uh, I'm gonna disable the backup key and let's create the backup. Oh, Cody, wait. Oh, uh, no. Uppercase. Okay. Create bucket. Okay. So let's go to the other. Oh, and let's run this. Okay. So you can read it. 
screen and basically that will allow us right now to see the file oh i must understand okay perfect okay so now if we click here we're going to be able to open the file and this is a file test file upload so you can see that or from the code what you have to do you can go to the code here and in the put option command you can add the acl to the uh, acl public grid okay so the acl public grid will actually allow us to create a file that it should be available for everyone so let's run that command again and if we go back we'll see a new one 11.26 we open that and you'll see here that it has permissions to download directly without adding permissions because we already added the permissions okay can go to permissions and you can see that it has everyone can read okay awesome so thank you very much for this uh, for staying with me with this and yeah happy coding and see you on the next adventure bye bye